All right, I don't usually make videos relating to manga spoilers, but this time's a little different. First, I want to announce me and Masha have a crazy collab lineup for theories that are coming out soon, and we have been talking a lot about really crazy world building concepts left in One Piece that have been flying under the radar that we think are going to become relevant soon. So if you haven't already seen his videos and theories, check him out. It's crazy because me and Masha have like this telepathy wavelength thing going on and it's really fun. But anyways, in his videos, he constantly has been showing why Wano has been paralleling Thriller Bark. And a few days ago, we had a conversation that somehow related to the 1037 spoilers that released this morning and we were just mind blown. So it was noted in the spoilers that there was a giant shadow visible and it was reported by a Navy ship to the Gorosei. And Mosh was saying this might be a connection to the shadows at the end of Thriller Bark and that we might see them in Wano. And then the spoilers came out and he might be right. But the other drop from the spoilers was that the Gorosei were worried about an awakened devil fruit and a possible idea that came to mind was that if Wano was mirroring Thriller Bark, then Moria might show up. On top of that, Moria has ties to Wano as that's where he got Ryoma's corpse and he lost his crew to Kaido originally. So there's so many reasons for it to come full circle and also Moria is tied to Blackbeard in some capacity so this might open up a reason for Blackbeard to be here. But besides that, the Gorosei pretty much confirmed that they have some kind of propaganda campaign with the Devil Fruits. According to the spoilers, the Gorosei said they have given the fruit another name to hide his true name, and it wasn't the Gum Gum Fruit. So the thought that came to mind was Moria again, because his fruit, the Kage Kage no Mi, or the Shadow Shadow Fruit, most people are named the Rubber Human or Invisible Human, but this fruit is special in the naming scheme because the name he was called one time was the Ruler of Shadows, or Master of Shadows. Is that the name the Gorosei were hiding? They were trying to to hide the master of shadows on top of that this could explain why Dolphamingo attacked moria after marineford and said the orders came from higher up which was shown to be the gorosei they said it was because he was too weak but maybe instead it was because they wanted to smother the return of the master of shadows anyways i'm going to return to my regular scheduled content but look forward to me and masha's collab